Hello YouTubes, welcome back to Telly's Marine Tales. My name is Chantal and for those who may not know, I am a marine biologist. I'm currently a postdoctoral research fellow studying the ecology of stingrays. Now, being a marine biologist can take many different forms. You could be an academic working for a university, you could be a researcher working for the government, you could be more of a conservationist working for an NGO. But no matter what form your job takes, a marine biologist generally needs a certain set of skills. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, from some of the more obvious skills to some of the ones you may not realize a marine biologist might need. So please, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel. So as a marine biologist, you obviously need to be interested in and passionate about things that happen in the ocean, what lives down there, what's going on. And you also kind of need a baseline level of knowledge of what happens in the ocean. And to get this, you'll generally go to university and you'll study up to some level, whether it be your master's or even up to your PhD level. And while you're at university, you will start to gain some of the most important skills as you need, you need as a marine biologist. The first being your writing skill. So as a marine biologist, you are a scientist. You go out, you collect data, you analyze your data, and then you have to communicate the results to the rest of the scientific community. This usually happens in the form of a scientific paper or research report or whatever you want to call it, but it has to be written in the scientific writing style, which is actually a very specific and unique writing style. So as you go throughout university, you'll have to write reports and things like that, and you will start to work on the skill of scientific writing. Not only that, you'll also have to develop your statistical skills. And as I said, you go out, you collect your data, and then you have to analyze your data. So you kind of have to become like a bit of a mini statistician. Um, and you'll have many courses at university, like basic level statistics. Um, you'll learn how to use um, software to help you analyze your data. And this is a skill you'll never stop learning. I mean, even now I'm still learning about different types of, you know, statistical programs or the ways to analyze data. And it's a skill you will definitely need. And whether you hate it or love it, you got to learn to love it. So when I first started, I really hated statistics, but the more I do it, the more I have come to love it. You know, it's really the time when you dig into your data and you, you find the answers to your questions and you start to tell a story. So data analysis is actually really fun. And as I said, whether you love it or hate it, it's going to be a part of your career. So this is really a skill that you need to work on. And it's also a skill that employers look for um, very frequently. The last major skill you should learn at university is your public speaking skills. So as I said, as a scientist, you need to communicate your results to the rest of the scientific community. And not only does this happen in the written form, but it also often happens in the public speaking form. So oftentimes scientists will gather at local or international conferences and they'll present their work to other scientists. So for this, you need pretty good public speaking skills, presentation skills, and you should get practice at this, of this at university. Then there are the more obscure skills you may not necessarily associate with being a marine biologist and you probably won't learn at university, but may still be important for you in your career. So first up is having project management skills. Now, if you're working for an NGO or the government or a university, you will essentially be managing your own research project or working in a team um, with other people managing a research project. Um, and you'll have to learn how to manage your time, how to manage your resources, your equipment. Maybe you'll have to manage other people if you have students or something like that working under you. You'll have to be able to manage budgets and finances and all that kind of stuff. So having some sort of project management skills is oftentimes very important. You may also need some sort of knowledge or skills in terms of um, a government policy and legislation, especially if you're working more in the applied sciences or the conservation where you really need to take research and turn it into uh, management measures, whether it be the implementation of marine protected areas or whether it be fishing regulations or that kind of things, having um, the knowledge and the skills to deal with that, that policy and that legislation may be something important that, that you'll have to look into. 
Developing your marketing skills is also something you may want to think about. As a marine biologist, you will have to market your research to a number of different audiences. And the first is that of funding agencies. So to be able to do research, you need money to do the research. So you need to submit proposals to funding agencies and you need to be able to highlight to them why your research is important and why you should get the money for your research. So you need to be able to market yourself in the right light. On the same page, you may need to be able to market your research to the scientific journal that you're trying to publish in. You'll need to be able to highlight why your research is important and relevant to that journal so they can publish it for you. Finally, being able as a scientist to market your research to the general public is also an important skill, especially in today's day and age. Um, many people are losing faith in science. People don't believe that it's true or they may just not care about it. They don't care about the ocean. They don't care about plastic pollution. So being able to market your science, your research to the general public so that we can all work together to conserve the planet that we're living on is, as I said, in today's day and age, quite an important skill to have as a marine biologist. So along with this marketing, generally goes having some sort of creative ability, whether it's writing blog posts, whether it's doing YouTube videos, whether it's creating posters or infographics or some sort of creative way in which to communicate your science is also quite an important skill to develop. On the flip side of this comes the more physical aspect of being a marine biologist. Now, this not all marine biologists go out into the field. Um, some only work in the lab, some only work behind the computer if you're more of a modeler. But generally, if you're a marine biologist, it's because you want to go out in the field, you love the ocean, and you want to do some field work. And this generally has a very physical aspect to it. So having some sort of baseline level of fitness is quite important. Now, you don't have to be Superman strong or fit, but being able to hold your own working in the outdoors is quite important. You may need to walk long distances across the beach to look for turtle nests. You may need to spend many hours underwater swimming, diving or snorkeling to survey coral reefs or whatever. You may need to be able to spend long hours on the boat. So having some sort of physical fitness and strength is also quite important. You may need to be able to carry heavy equipment or your scuba gear or, or that type of thing. So having, so having a baseline level of fitness is quite important. Also being um, good practically with your hands and having some level of handy work capabilities is also important say for instance your equipment breaks while you're out in the field you may need to be able to try and fix it or if you forgot a piece of equipment in the lab and you have to macgyver something to work in the field being practically good with your hands can be a skill that employers will look for especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time in the field now there may be a variety of other skills that I haven't talked about that you'll need in a specific job for a marine biologist. Like maybe you'll need to be able to know how to drive a boat or maybe you'll need some first aid skills or maybe you'll need to be able to teach somebody else how to scuba dive. Um, but I think I've covered the, the general skills that you will most likely need in most marine biology jobs. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If I've missed anything, if there's a big skill you think I've missed, leave it down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and until next time, I hope you all have a happy day.